TitleMatchNetwork.com. Remember about your first uh, big uh, series with Bret Hart? I wrestled Bret. I worked there a year before Bret even said hi to me. You know, Bret's just a real eccentric kind of cat. Not that he was being standoffish or anything. It's just the way Bret is. And I wrestled him at a at the Royal Rumble in Sacramento, and uh, when they raised, they were build raise, build raise, build raise. Then I put Bret over. But uh, and C two, I had Kurt, you know, I had Perfect in my ear, tell me that, you know, I had to yield to Bret. I didn't get Razor didn't get much of his stuff in. It was Bret's match, you know. We did we did what Bret wanted to do. Yeah. If I could, if years later. And having had more experience and stuff, I would have it would have been a different match. Mm. Now, some guys, um, obviously Flair being one of them, has said that Brett's overrated. Some say he's not. What do you think? From I mean, you've wrestled him a million times. Um, if if I had a wrestling company, I would want Brett on my team. I think he's great. Yeah, yeah. he's great. One thing about Brett is, like, one thing I noticed, I learned a lot when I was at. Working, you know, for Vince and then working, you know, at, at WCW. Sometimes, and Larry's back there, he can probably echo on this, is that sometimes you need guys who whose wrestling is, is entertaining enough that the announcers can talk about other matches. They can talk about angles while these guys perform. Because Booker sometimes used to complain, man, they always talk about something else during my match. And I say, you know why, Book? Because you're so athletic and your wrestling is so aesthetically pleasing to watch that they don't have to talk about your moves because they speak for themselves. Mm. And guys like that, and, and like that's how Brett was. Brett could wrestle, and guys like Benoit and Chris Jericho, and guys who are technically really sound, they're, they're wrestling, Eddie Guerrero, their wrestling is pretty to watch. You know, it's real, it's, you know, it's pretty. Yeah. So you don't have to talk about every move they make. You can talk about it, and later on, Hogan will be wrestling Sting, and blah, blah, blah. You can talk about the other angles during these matches. So, Brett had that ability, you know. He everything he did was crisp, with you know. And you know, if I owned a company, I would hire Brett. Do you think that WCW, um, whoever was booking at the time, mishandled Brett when he came into WCW? Um, I was just talking to somebody about that just yesterday. Actually, um, see, with all due respect to Brett, his strong suit is his wrestling. He's not that good on the stick. He's not that good on the microphone. And everything we did was live TV. So when he worked for Vince, a lot of his stuff was taped interviews where they could do several takes and get it the way they wanted it or they could feed lines to him or whatever. See, a lot of stuff we did was live and some of the guys were real good on the stick. And if you weren't, too bad for you, we'd bury you because it's a cutthroat thing. And if you don't remember, we'll remind you. So. Brett came into a already a well-oiled machine, and he he kind of didn't fit. See, the thing is, too, there, Brett was made an offer a year earlier to come in, and he didn't want it. And then he came in later, and he didn't have the impact that he would have had he come earlier. And he just didn't fit. I think the thing that hurt him the most was that his he, his microphone skills, you know, because the, we'd almost turned Nitro into into a Comedy. I mean, the NWO, we barely wrestled. <laughs> we'd open the show with some comedy and then we'd do some run ins, and then usually me or Kev or somebody would wrestle at the end of the night. But I don't know. I don't think anybody mishandled Brett. I just think, I don't think you can blame the management for somebody not getting over. I mean, Brett's been around a long time. He should know how to get over. You can't blame Bischoff because Brett didn't get over. Do you think they pulled the plug on uh, Bischoff too quick when they replaced him with uh, Russo and uh, Farrar? Yes. Yeah. What are your thoughts on uh, Russo? No comment. Okay. I uh, think he's a great, a nice guy, a smart guy, and everything. I I think that he he was a small cog in a big machine when he was successful with Vince. I don't know how he's doing at TNA or anything because I don't really follow that. He's a nice person. You know, I've never really done a lot of business with him. Yeah. TitleMatchNetwork.com